Today, we're going to be discussing a heated debate. Should you invest Universal Legendary Commander Sculptures into Charles Martel? what's going on guys cheers charles martel is one of my personal favorite legendaries in rise of kingdoms and he is also a huge crowd pleaser when it comes to free to play and low spenders because a 5511 martel is pretty powerful and you can get him from the gold keys he is in my opinion the best gold key legendary commander in rise of kingdoms so the age-old question should you invest your legendary commander sculptures your universals into martel to get him to a 5511 state or to get him to an expertise state which you can see i have here now i will admit i do think i invested maybe 20 or 30 universal legendary commander sculptures into charles martel just to get him to that expertise state because i was so close and i just wanted to do it but i am not the typical free-to-play player right i do spend a bit into, into the game and i knew that those legendary commander sculptures would come back come back to me in the form of vip daily rewards after a couple of days right so it didn't really set my account back too much and i was able to get the expertise for a very powerful legendary commander that i could immediately use now here's the thing about charles martel okay and let's first talk about should you use universals to get him to that expertise state okay the answer to that is absolutely not with one exception okay and again we're talking about free to play and low spenders and even like medium spenders should not be investing universals in martel to get him to that expertise state okay and what i mean by that is beyond the 5511 mark you should absolutely not put universals into him again with one exception we're going to talk about here in a minute why is that right why is that because you may be thinking okay omniarch you know if i'm just getting him from gold keys i'll never expertise him right and there's good reason to believe that because i've played this game for over a thousand days and if we look at other legendary commanders that you get from the gold keys i have all of them in a five 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 one state right my Mehmed is equivalent to a five 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 one we can take a look at my el cid same thing we can take take a look at my caesar same thing we can take a look at my frederick same thing so in over a thousand days if i didn't invest anything into charles martel he would be in a five 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 one state now i know you're thinking omniarch you said you only invested like 20 or 30 sculptures i was buying a lot of the daily special bundles to get more sculptures of charles martel okay so that's what i'm saying i'm in, I'm in a different this is i'm not a free to play or low spender in that regard okay so if after years of playing uh, I still would only have a 5551 Martel. That means it would take even longer, three, four years to expertise Charles Martel just from gold keys. That sounds ridiculous, right? So you might be thinking it's worth investing universals into him because you might not play the game for four or five years and you're never going to reach that point. But let me ask you this, okay? It takes 190 commander sculptures to get him to 5511 what benefit do you get beyond that okay his third skill is relatively useless okay watchtower gets defeated in the first like five turns of a city rally hit garrison attack by 10 percent that's terrible right now of course it's for all troop types not just infantry which is incredible right so it applies to the archers in your city the cavalry in your city the siege in your city that's great but a it's attack which is not that valuable especially in kvk where you're most likely to get rallied and b if you're a free to player low spender and you have charles martel on your wall you're going to get zeroed anyway so this third skill for all intents and purposes is absolutely useless with the only exception being maybe a shadow legion that's sort of the only uh, event where you're really going to get use out of this and it's not worth the sculptures so from a functional perspective this third skill is useless for free to play and low spenders which brings us to our fourth skill the difference between one point and five points is 20 percent counterattack damage okay not bad and then the expertise you get 10 percent increased stats and 20 percent march speed but the requirements to get from 5511 to expertise is 500 universal legendary commander sculptures and over the course of that time a lot of those sculptures are going to go into a skill that does nothing for you right so let me ask you that is 500 legendary commander sculptures worth 20 percent counterattack damage 10 percent stats and 20 percent march speed i don't think so right 
I just don't think so. For the same amount of sculptures, you could get a 5511 Constantine and you could get a 5511 Leonidas and have tons of sculptures left over to invest in other commanders, right? Now, do I recommend you do that? It depends on your account and what you're focusing on, but you know, a 5511 Leonidas, a 5511 Constantine, and a 5511 Martel is a much better commander collection than just a single expertise Charles Martel. Does that make sense, right? So the answer to should you invest in, in universal into getting him expertise is no. The only exception, which I did mention, is if you're like 20 or 30 sculptures away and you're a low spender and you're about to go into KVK and having that extra, let's say this last one is at, is at three, right? An extra 10% counterattack damage, an extra 10% stats and an extra 20% march speed that might be worth. 20 commander sculptures, right? It might be. So that's up to you to decide again, if you're about to go into KVK and you're about to get the value out of that Martel, then maybe it's worth it because again, getting 20 sculptures of Martel may take you another month or two or whichever, you know, it's, it's crazy, right? So it's the only exception and that's up to you. I don't recommend doing it, but that would be the one time where I could say, okay, you may want to go ahead and use that, uh, make that investment. Because if you don't, you're going to, you're not going to see that value from him for a while. And right now you could get good value out of those sculptures. So something to consider, but then comes into play the other argument, which is should you use universals to get him to the five, five, one, one state where he is basically finished, right? You're going to leave him there for a while. And if you get lucky, you can get a five, five, one, five Martel after a while. And that would be incredible. And at that point, you really don't even need the expertise, right? Cause that you get all, like 90% of his value there, which is amazing. But the argument that people make for getting him to five, five, one, one with some universals is that if you don't use universals, it'll take you anywhere from six to nine months or maybe longer just to get him to that 5511 state, which I understand is a long period of time. However, you have to consider what are you getting and what are you losing by investing universals into Charles Martel just to get him to 5511, right? The, what you're gaining is a powerful primary commander that you could throw a Sun Tzu behind him, and that's going to be an incredibly powerful march for like KVK1, for example, which is around the time players may be considering investing universals into Martel to get him to that point, which is understandable, right? That's a good early game, very powerful uh, march that you can use to see some real value. The downside is the opportunity cost that it takes to get there. So let's say you're rushing your Martel to 5511 and you end up using 90 legendary commander sculptures just to bridge that gap to get them there for KBK1. 90 legendary commander sculptures is way more valuable invested into a commander that you're not going to get for free over time. Look at Isong Ye. He is also a very powerful early game commander that you need to spin the wheel of fortune to get him, right? Or eventually you'll be able to buy bundles for him, get him in card king, things like that. But those are not free to play friendly ways of obtaining this legendary commander. So you could put 90 sculptures into Esong and get him closer to that expertise state, which as a free to play or low spender, you absolutely want to do because you get a huge amount of value by getting Esong to expertise. Whereas you don't get a, as much value getting an, a Charles Martel to expertise, but also you're going to get Charles Martel for free over time. Any sculpture that you get for Charles Martel after the five, five, one, one state is sort of useless, right? Because the, the, the point between getting him from to 5511 to expertise is such a long amount of time that, you know, the value of those sculptures drops off a cliff after that 5511 state. So rushing him to that point, and I can understand why you'd be tempted to do that because he's good at that state, but you're immediately diminishing the value of all future sculptures you get of him from the gold keys because you really don't have that much to look forward to. Yes, every couple of months, you'll get to put a skill into him and hope that it goes into that fourth one and it'll be great if it does. But the value again for that is much lower. So what you're losing is again, the opportunity cost. You could be investing those 90, 100, 110 sculptures that you're considering investing into Martel early game into commanders that really move the needle, that really make a huge difference for your account. 
amount. So while you may get some value early game out of a 5511 Martel, by the time you enter KVK 3 or 4, you're going to be 90 sculptures behind where you should be with your commanders that really matter, like your Yi Song Ye, like your Alexander the Great, like your Guan Yu, for example. These commanders really matter and they really make a huge difference late game, and you're not going to have them where you need them to be because you rushed Charles Martel for some instant gratification in the early game. So in this scenario, I still do not think that it's worth investing your legendary commander sculptures to get Charles Martel even to a 5511 state. Now, again, if you're about to enter KVK1 and you've spent a ton in the early game and you've gotten really lucky with gold, lucky with gold keys and you're five sculptures away from a 5511 Martel, then I can understand the temptation and I do think you'll get some nice value out of him. It won't really make a huge impact on the overall progression of your account. Um, I still don't really recommend it, but I can understand the temptation there. But you know, if you're more than 20 sculptures or, or 15 sculptures away from a 5511 Martel, uh, I would say just use him at 5411 and you'll be just fine. So to sum up, yes, it takes a long time to progress your Charles Martel in a free to play way. It does. It takes a long time to get him to 5511 and it takes virtually forever to get him expertise by just getting gold keys. However, the opportunity cost is really what you have to consider. And even still, even though it takes a long, long time, there's just better places to invest your sculptures. So do yourself a favor. If you're a free to play or low spender and you're new to the game, resist the temptation to invest in Martel, even though he is one of the best commanders that you're going to have as a free to play or low spender. Guys, if you found this video useful, drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Charles Martel. Do you think that it's worth investing a few legendaries to getting him to those important milestones the 5511 or expertise state. I would love to hear from you guys down below. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. My social media links are always in the description below, so make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, all that stuff. It's always down below, as well as a link to download Rise of Kingdoms for free for your PC. It's a program called Blue Stocks. It supports the channel if you download with my link. I'm using it right now. That's why you see my mouse on the screen. I love this program. I've used it for years. And if you don't like it, you can always uninstall it later. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.